I'm still finding uh, a lot of value uh, to the downside because again, the most important part is gravity is real and then we're trying to take advantage. However. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrade.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. So we got two days left uh, in the year. Uh, the markets from the index's point of view uh, is doing exactly what we thought. You're not going to get a definitive statement from the bulls or the bears uh, which way the wind is going to blow? Because again, majority of people have closed down uh, their books and they are done for uh, 2020. Matter of fact, um, I haven't taken literally a day off uh, since this whole COVID thing started. So uh, New Year's Eve, I'm actually uh, going to take the day off. Look at this. I'm treating myself, right? Uh, but more, more important, folks, I, I think, again, going into 2021, like we talked about, I think a lot of new traders have this uh, has a, have this almost entitlement that again we expect another uh, bullish run in the market again maybe we will we again we don't know maybe we will but again if you've been watching the video especially in the last two three days um, I think I made a pretty good case of what happens when you expect things and then reality kicks in and if you've kind of been watching the tape uh, for the last couple of days you've seen some pretty decent uh, similarities that we've been talking about for the last several days. Number one, uh, all the high-flying names, whether uh, they were up 20% for the year, 2,000% of the year, you're starting to see very, very aggressive pulls. We've seen now uh, two, three days in a row. And why is that important? If you looked at any market short for the last two, three weeks, you would have got murdered, right? There was literally been no, it felt like there's been no downticks in the market for the last month. It's been absolutely amazing. And if you look at what the market's been doing for the last several days from the index point of view, completely flat, but from the individual names, they're just pulling them one by one by one. Now, again, you don't need, and this is kind of what I really want to convey. I think a lot of new traders, when they heard that, when they heard me talk about on the weekend video that, hey, don't get trapped, the market's going to crash. Nobody's calling for a market crash. Okay, but let's just put this out of the way. Nobody's talking about a market crash. The market doesn't have to crash for your individual stocks that you bought at really bad levels to put you out of business. And that's the most important part. So when you look at names for the last several days that have been pulled down, right? Uh, the Zooms of the world that had a really big you know, five-day move, put in an inside day today. Uh, the Pelotons of the world that had a really, really big move and for the last couple of days have been sold, right? So names like this, BIGC uh, that I shorted some today, a nice little trade there is coming really apart. BYND now, back-to-back -back days, uh, they've been selling the stock. Uh, Square, right, had a big, big run and really big moves. Now, again, you could turn around and say, look, this is, this is something or this is nothing. You can make, and I can make a very, very compelling argument that, you know, this is just regular profit taking, right? The market is going into the names that we talked about, the you know the really big mega cap stocks uh, that did nothing for months and they finally woke up. So, for example, yesterday was that pivot uh, 3250 on Amazon, and Amazon went to 3350. Exactly the next supply. Uh, Facebook that we discussed yesterday had a really big move. Again, we'll talk about uh, some of the pivots in a second, but but more important than what we're saying is what we need to prepare for, and that's the moral of the story. So, again, I don't care to be right. If I'm, what's my worst case scenario, right? The, these stocks don't sell off in the first quarter and what, we buy stocks? Oh, the, you know, how scary, right? So nobody cares about being right or wrong. The, the moral of the story is it's time to get prepared, right? And, and I think I, I, a lot of traders, especially new traders, continue uh, to kind of trade with rose-colored glasses and all they're you know, preparing for is this euphoria that's going to continue in, in 2021. God bless, I hope so, right? Believe me, the, I'm the last person who's going to turn around and say, no, I don't want these stocks to go higher. That's crazy. We, we trade with the market. Uh, we, we trade with the market momentum. And, and the 2020 has been a phenomenal uh, momentum 
play for a lot of groups. But again, the only thing they were saying is, look, just forget about all these stocks. And we've been kind of reiterating the point uh, for the last three, four days, especially forget about these really high flying stocks. They're in orbit right now. Again, they're, they're going to be the ones that pull. Concentrate on the stocks that are coming out of the ranges, right? Like the like the Amazons did and the Netflix day today, which we did today, which I completely screwed up. But again, it's a whole different story. And again, don't get caught off guard. Again, being right in the social media world, nobody cares, right? Nobody cares. If you're doing this for clout or for likes or for views, you're doing it wrong, right? If you're trading, you know, if you're trading capital, your hardworking capital that you believe that should come back to you, right? At every single day, you're going to take the responsible route. And again, nobody knows what's going to happen in 2021. A lot of people have opinions. A lot of people have different theories. That's fantastic. That's great. Price action ultimately will make us right. And if the price action is strong, you know what? The market will continue its rise for 2021. If the market gets tired and the buyers go on strike and all the high flyers start coming in and taking down very, very creative channels, then hell yeah, we're going to get a big, big pullback. But again, at least we want to prepare. Not only the, you know, the new trades, everybody, right? We want to make sure that you're in the right frame of mind, that you're keeping one eye open, that you are paying attention to technical levels. And again, nothing aggressive is going to happen in this market until the queues really start losing, you know, some big spots. Like for example, the five and 10 day moving average, look how far we are we get. Again, nothing here is going to show you how weak the internals have been for the last three days, especially for names that have been really up in orbit. But if you, again, if you've been trading, if you've been trading actively for the last two, three days, you kind of know what I'm talking about. And if you look at the pivots today, I believe we only had, I only believe we only had several uh, long bias pivots. And again, yesterday was the first time in a very, very long time that I put any short pivots uh, into the feed. Today was day two. And again, if you look how the market's been trading in the last, let's just call it in the, in the last month, untouchable on the short side. Don't even think about shorting stocks. You'll get absolutely run over. The last 24 hours have been completely different. Uh, stocks are losing their channels pretty quickly, pretty aggressively. And when the option market kinks in, right? For example, uh, like on a QS, we'll talk about QS in a second. When the options market kicks in, these stocks are really being taken down. So again, the message continues to be, nobody's calling for Armageddon. Guys, nobody's saying, like I had a, I had a guy tell me, uh, after after the, the weekend video, you're right, Dan, the market's going to crash. Who said that? Who even thinking about that? Nobody's talking about crashing. Nobody's talking about anything. We're just trying to prepare people for what people weren't prepared for, including myself and all my friends, in 2020 when the dot-com market burst. That's it. Just keep an eye uh, on to technical levels. Make sure that, again, if you are holding any type of inventory, the indexes are measured to support your theory. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Trade both sides of the market. Uh, one day at a time, one trade at a time. So if you look at uh, the pivots today, again, a lot of them were to the downside. Uh, the only couple were, were to the upside were Facebook, Amazon, and Google, which didn't confirm. But overall, again, pretty solid day, pretty good value, especially today on the short side. And again, kind of going into tomorrow, I expect pretty much the same type of thing. You're not going to see really a lot of uh, fear or conviction one way or another. You're probably going to get tight channels, but the most important thing is, again, trade one trade at a time. Again, don't try to macro opinion when there's literally 24 hours left uh, for 2020 to expire. So let's talk about today's session. Again, uh, that 3250 area yesterday was the big number, kind of the big uh, catapult for Amazon to go. Uh, really big move today. Again, congratulations for all you guys who held it. It's, it still looks good. There's still um, they're still coming for, for some reason my charts are not working here. Uh, they're still coming for um, the 3300, the 3350s, uh, the 3400 weekly calls. So a ton of call buying still uh, in the name traded right to supply here today. We talked about a uh, potential landing spot, 3345, 3350. The high of the day today was 3350. Uh, so really, really big move there. Uh, on Amazon, as you can see here, right here, here's the spot, 3345, 3350, next supply, it hit it perfectly. Uh, Facebook was very, very strong today. Again, uh, 27750, 278 needs to build. Uh, here was Facebook, had a really strong move before it got pulled as well. So here was the, the 7750, it pretty much engulfed yesterday's move. Uh, 7750 traded all the way up to 80 and a half. Again, nobody's saying this thing was going to break out the 52 week highs, but again, it stopped that supply and rolled over. Again, another kind of 
big deal if the stronger names that didn't rally starting to and they get rejected something just to keep an eye on same thing that happened uh with, with apple today although apple's just been on a magic run so again we got to just keep an eye on, on everything uh before you know before we worry about this you know the macro area. Uh, Roku, again, continues to be sold. Uh, 339 support if it builds below can flush more. Again, not a huge move, but again, you can see how these channels are being violated, right? So here's the 339, uh, went all the way down to 332. And again, if this thing starts confirming 332, it could get into the 320s just like that. So again, guys, don't be naive. Stocks go up, stocks go down, and gravity is very, very real. Uh, ZM, I still like. Put in an inside day today. Uh, didn't trigger. Google didn't trigger to the, to the downside. And again, here's a prime example of QS. Unfortunately, I didn't have a locate for this thing, so I got shut out of this trade. But you saw how quickly these stocks pull in, especially when buyers come in on the options market and the put side very, very quickly. So I said, look, if you have a locate or you're an option player, 108, if it builds below, can flush. Uh, a buyer jumped in, put $1.4 million worth of premium uh, on the table for the Feb uh, 80 puts, and this thing got murdered. And again, why wouldn't you think it got murdered, right? So here was 108, right? So here was the 108, got all the way, all the way down to 94. And again, when you have a run like this, right? When you have a SPAC name or whatever the hell this thing is, when you have a run from you know 10 to 130, I mean, is it really a shock that these are going to be the names that are going to get pulled? Of course not. This is where the value uh, in the market is as of right now. Again, not enough juice because the market ran so much. But again, you don't need fear. You don't need the indexes to crumble for these stocks to, to, to really take a, you know, take a beating. And that's exactly uh, what we saw today. So if you guys got it, congratulations. Uh, BYD is a pretty nice trade. Uh, I shorted this thing 126.30. 126, if it builds below, can flush more. Yesterday, obviously, got destroyed. Here was BYND, took out the whole level and traded all the way down to 123 and change. And again, I don't think this thing is done yet either. If this thing starts building below, you know, 123 and a half, 123, why can't it go uh, to, to uh, the 52-week lows, right? Again, there's a lot of room here. And again, if you believe in the values to the downside, especially in a lot of these names... Again, something to definitely consider uh, for the next week or so. Uh, NET, another um, big move. I still think this thing goes lower as well. Uh, 77 if it builds below can flush. Again, not a big move, but again, it's slowly coming down, right? It's slowly coming down here. You can see yesterday was the first close uh, below the rising support. It took out the 77, traded to like 75 and change. But again, if this thing starts confirming down, look how much room you still have to the downside. Again, that's my point. Value continues to be at least... Uh, to the downside for now, right? So BYND perfect, 123.50 is next stop, went to 123.88. Uh, uh, Amazon, again, here are the weekly call buyers to come in. So the moral of the story is, folks, again, I'm still finding uh, a lot of value uh, to the downside because, again, the most important part is gravity is real and we're trying to take advantage. However, there are some names that do look good. I mean, Tesla still uh, looks really good, right? It's kind of hanging out here. Here's the 60-minute channel. If Tesla could start building above this channel, hey, why not? Why can't this thing uh, go back to the 681 area from last week's highs or the 695 all-time highs? Uh, even a SPAC that uh, we traded last week, uh, EOLS, or excuse me, EO. Uh, SE, right, had a really big day, consolidated for three days and took out the channel. Again, if it starts confirming today's highs, maybe this thing goes more. But but again, there is a lot of value still to the downside as well. Uh, Peloton, again, you look at Peloton, uh, it stopped at the rising 10-day moving average. If the 10-day gets confirmed, again, we saw weekly uh, 140 buyer comes in, 140 weekly buyer uh, to the put side come in. Again, this thing can go down. I still think ZM, again, you know, this it just had an inside day today. If it starts confirming the 150-day moving average, this thing can go down. So again, nobody's, you know, nobody's calling for a market crash. It's all about one day at a time, one trade at a time. Again, guys, we're not trying to recreate the wheel. There's only literally two sessions left of 2020. Uh, let the market dictate to us what we think is going to happen. Again, nobody has an idea. Everybody has an opinion. But more important, the key to the goal game is stay in business. Guys, God bless. I wish you all the best. And with God's help, I'll see you all tomorrow.